Hey everyone. Today marks the day, as of yesterday actually, I will be moving out of my RV in officially a week and a half to two weeks and into my home. A house. I shouldn't say my home because home is where the heart is truly and I love RV living and my RV is my home. i will be sad to say goodbye to it. Um, I'll have it in my yard for a while but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell it and I'm going to get a van. And um, yeah, my husband and I, we are going to get a van and then we're going to be going back out to the southwest and California. I want to go see the redwood trees. There's a lot of the west and I haven't been able to see. And a part of it was because we had such a large RV, it was hard financially to drive it around. So we're going to be going back out there with a van. So I'm really excited. But for now, I'm going to be present in the fact that I am actually moving into a house, a small house. It's a tiny house to me. It's only 452 square feet, but we'll make it work. We made the RV where we could make this work. The best part is, is I'm going to have chickens and a garden and everything I wanted, goals that I wanted that I couldn't do, accomplish in the RV. I'll miss Sedona a lot. I've, I've missed Sedona this winter. It's been, it's been a very emotional, spiritual, difficult, it's been so difficult for me. Uh, it's been like a complete roller coaster for everyone around me too, I'm sure. But um, I think I'm getting somewhere now. My goals are finally being met. I thought I wanted to go back to Sedona. I, I really did, but um, I, I don't think it's the right thing for me right now. So it's like a relief. Um, Sedona is a very intense, amazing place that I'm truly in love with, but it's, um, it's intense. And I will say this, it's very difficult to accomplish your goals in Sedona. Um, I did a lot of artwork there and a lot of hiking and those goals were met. But if you financially, it's hard to find something like, unless you have the money to buy uh, real estate there, which is very, very expensive. Um, it's hard to accomplish goals like having chickens, rescuing animals. Um, I want to do some fostering with dogs and cats and it was difficult to do that stuff in Sedona. But um, I am, I'm moving into this tiny house and I'm so excited about it. It's beautiful. The wood floor is beautiful. It has beautiful landscaping. It's in a really friendly um, place called Bessemer, uh, Pennsylvania. And it's a great neighborhood, um, safe, and the people are so nice and kind. And I can't wait until I'm, you know, able to just settle in but i um, looking forward to every step of the way and I'm gonna be doing videos um, about everything but I you know chickens and moving in and everything uh, one thing that I <laughs> those are the trains we have around here sorry one thing I forgot to were just didn't do in Sedona was um, I didn't make a lot of videos of what I was doing and I was I was doing amazing things with the RV I mean I was cooking vegan food, gluten-free food, baking. I, I can't believe it. Look at the tiny space I lived in. It's amazing. Ironically, I'm probably going to be making some videos about tiny living and um, RV living in the future. But ah, I'm underneath this beautiful tree today and I'm taking a nice walk. It's so nice spring weather here and I just wanted to say hi and tell you that all that I'm, I'm just at peace and it's nice to be at peace. I hope you all are too and I hope you're having a good day. Goodbye.